Hey guys, welcome to this video. Haseeb here. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, I'm going to discuss a new landing page that I did a few days ago for a fencing company. They wanted to run Google ads for their business and I built this landing page for them so they can run ads and send traffic to this page. And I'm going to discuss everything uh, about this page, what methods I applied, what are the best uh, tips and tricks I followed to uh, maximize the conversion rate of this page. And once I discuss this whole page over here on both desktop and mobile, because mobile is really important. After I do that, I'm going to show you the back end of this page to just to give you an idea of uh, what the page structure looks like. So you can apply the same on your go high level uh, landing page as well. So make sure you subscribe. And if you need landing page design services, just there's a link in the description. Just get in touch with me and we can talk from there. Now, to get started from the very beginning, you can see there's a top bar which has the offer. So according to principles of conversion rate, you always have to have the offer visible. So whenever they land on the page, they their offer is right there. So this is the offer that the company has right now. So I put it in the top bar. Next, we have the header. And as you can see, there's a logo, a trust badge and the phone number as well. So if they want to call you, they can call you from there just by clicking on it. Always the phone number should be clickable. And you can see there are menu links which do not take you anywhere else. They're just taking you to different sections of the same page. We've done this in order to stop traffic leaking out from the page. So if you're bringing paid traffic, you don't want them to get distracted and go to different places. You want them to keep in the same page. You want to keep them in the same page so they convert, right? Next, we have the hero section, what we call it, the hero section. The hero section has the area that's being covered by this company and it has a nice value proposition headline. The headline must reflect the value that you're giving, like the business is giving. So premium fence installation and repair services. This not only provides the value by saying premium fence installation and repair, but also it says what they do, fence installation and fence repair. So you already know now what they do. Next, you can see there's a very small paragraph. Welcome to company name, your trusted partner, you know, serving around that. Locally owned fences built to the highest quality. We offer financing options. So within these three or five or seven odd number of bullet points, you want to describe what you are offering or like as much info as possible. If you are offering financing, just write it down there. Uh, like get a 10 year workmanship warranty, just write it there, you know, followed by a testimonial. So a testimonial must be used as a buffer. We call it a buffer. So buffer means um, whenever there's a call to action, like this is a form, right? So we want them to fill it out. And where, wherever there's a call to action, like a button or a phone call button or a form like this, we must have uh, like a buffer, which is a testimonial. So it actually improve, improves their confidence to uh, fill up this form or make the call or whatever the call to action says. Okay, we're done with top bar, right? Next section is badges, only badges, right? Fully registered and accredited. So uh, we've got these four badges. If you've got more like five or six or seven without making this section a huge one, just put the maximum number of trust badges as possible, like BBB, Google, Facebook. You can put GAF for roofing, you know, all those stuff. And that's that's all about this section, guys. Just badges, right? Next one would be just to write down about the services. Don't go with huge paragraphs. We do this, we do that. Nothing is big or small. Don't go with that bullshit. Just write down the services this company provides. So they do residential, commercial, and irrigation. So that's all they do, right? That's all. Next one is just about the company. So installing confidence that lasts a lifetime, you know, something that, uh, you know, not too big again. So it, it cannot be like two or three paragraphs long, maybe one paragraph and some bullet points. What we do, right? Chain link, wood fences, ornamental, commercial, you know, this is what we do. And without making it a huge deal, like making a huge section out of it, just 
write down as bullet points so use as much bullet points as possible on the page next one is a call to action so after we've done the top bar another section another section another section maybe two or three after two or three sections just put a section that's all about call to action you know and again whenever there's a button there's a testimonial you know i i wouldn't say this is optional because this really helps guys this this really helps uh gaining confidence in your leads mind so just put a call to action and a button that won't again won't take you out of the page just will take you to the form you want them to fill it out right the next section is about our process so our process means what we do how you can get the job done by us so the first step of uh, this three steps process is call us or fill out the form so we want them to either call or fill out the form second step will be we provide you with a detailed quote and plan or an estimate you know whatever the third one will be the result so the result is sit back and relax while we do the heavy list lifting for you so these are the three steps again followed by a strong call to action the next step is testimonial so i've put images here so you can do some testings like put content like uh, plain texts as testimonials but i've put images because uh, yeah if i put images it seems like uh, we are actually using the google review thing so it looks like a google review it is a google review by the way again call to action so i've put button to take to them to the form and where they can call from so uh, the next section is portfolio or recent projects. So I put eight images of their recent projects. So make sure these are authentic. No matter how crappy or shitty the images are, never go with stock images, guys. On landing pages, never, never go with stock images. They never work. And then the final call to action. So that's all, guys. Top bar, badges section, services about the company call to action, three-step process, testimonials, projects, call to action. Now, let's have a look on mobile. So I'm viewing this from an iPhone 14 Pro Max device. As you can see, while I keep scrolling down from phone, there's a sticky call to action that says, call for an instant quote. That's super important. When you're having them uh, view this page from mobile, always put a sticky call button because they want they don't want to scroll all the way over the top or the bottom to find the call button because they they don't have enough time they've got other options you don't want to give them other options because you're the on, only option you want to make them available so that's all for uh, for the sticky call to uh, call button and if we keep going down you can see this is super mobile responsive guys nothing is too big or too small or everything looks Make sure everything looks perfect and if if the page goes really long i would suggest hiding some of the sections like uh, a couple of call to action buttons because uh you don't want to put extra call buttons because as there's on, uh, already a sticky button there so make sure you hide all the call buttons uh on the page and yeah that's all make sure there's a map as well for them to be able to easily see where you are and for them uh, this also helps them make a decision you know and yeah that's all for mobile again it's it has to be super mobile responsive and uh, we don't usually send traffic from tabs so if uh, if we are doing google ads we don't we don't bid for tap devices so we just cut that out just send uh, maybe 90% of mobile traffic and 10% of desktop tra traffic because mobile traffic they they convert the best most of the people are from uh, from mobile so that's all this for this page and now let's have a look into the back end so for the back end this is a section this is a section this is a section so these are divided into three sections the top section you know and uh, you can see this is a nav menu this is an image these are all text image again text this is a form by the way and this heading uh, and this paragraph was created inside the form i haven't created it in the builder and you can see this is also an image because go high level doesn't let you do a lot of customizations like wordpress elementor so i have created an image using canva you can do that as well and that's a list bullet list you know so just i'm clicking on each item just to show you what item uh, what elements these are 
so this is a sub headline this is a bullet list this is a form you know this is an image again this is a bullet list with one item only and if we have a look at mobile this is a separate header right this is not the same header you saw on uh, desktop i have kept this menu hidden on mobile you can see but so when i toggle to mobile it disappears right also the google uh review also this call button on mobile because there's a sticky one already next these are all images with uh this this section is consisting of five columns one two three four five the first one holding the text and all the other ones holding images this is another section and this this has a sub headline a headline and image text that's all so this is an image this is a uh, this is a headline and this is a column this is the second one this is the third one so i just made one and i copied it uh like and made three sections out of it or three columns out of it this is a two column section see the first column and the second column you know image this is again this is a bullet item this is headline this is sub headline this is paragraph and this is this is a section with a, like this is a row inside this section so we are in the same section but uh two column row okay this is a button again this is a three column section this is a two column section recurring like this is a two column section this is another one this is another one so this is really simple design guys i have never like i've never done too complicated work i mean i don't even know how to do complicated designs using go high level i always use uh wordpress or elementor for those advanced kind of designs so that's why i've kept it really super simple this is a four column this is a four column as well you know this is another section this is image so nothing too fancy going on if you have a look like these are all like one column two column three column and in those columns we have headlines images and you know if videos if possible you know so all these simple stuff about the map just uh just to show you what the map looks like this is not the go high level map element guys so this is what i've done is i have gone to maps.ie and i have created a map from this page by giving all these information and copying this code from here and putting it here so this is a custom code element you know so if you go to code so th this is the this is the element i used to create the map you know and again this is a another section this is another section which is the footer and uh, if we go on mobile i've kept the sticky section of button to call uh, all the way to the bottom so this is the section and if you have a look at the setting where it says sticky on the section so i've said stick to bottom on scroll that's why no matter where i scroll to from mobile it always sticks to the bottom that's the setting i've applied to this section so it never moves you know that's all that's all i've done so far with this landing page and i've applied the same method to multiple business categories and this works so well guys so i highly recommend going with this page layout on go high level if you're using go high level of course and that's all guys that's all i wanted to share hope this video helped you understand uh the go high level builder and also a bit about principles of conversion rate optimization for landing pages and that's all subscribe and have a good day thank you Thank you.